final leg. So we're back to talk about some of the great performances we've seen over the past couple weeks, some great highlights on the track in the field. Let's jump into it. First off, just a couple hours ago, we saw Michael Norman out in Texas. I think it was in Dallas, Texas, a little bit low key, but he was running the 100 meters. He said it was four years since he ran 100 meters. He ran 9.86 seconds in the 100 meter dash plus 1.6 meter per second wins. So clearly legal, extremely fast. He was joined by Rye Benjamin, the 400 meter hurdler. He managed to run 10.03 seconds. This is a huge accomplishment for Michael Norman. Of course, in 2019, we saw he got injured and unfortunately couldn't make it through the semifinals in the 400 meters in Doha. But this time here, it makes him just the second 400 meter runner who has broken 44 seconds to break the 10 second barrier. Only Wade Van Niekerk has ever done it before in history. This also makes him the first sub 44 second 400 meter runner to break 9.90 seconds. Only Wade Van Niekerk. Remember, he had run 9.94 seconds. This is a huge accomplishment. This also makes him number three all time on the 100, 200, and 400 meter best list, only behind Usain Bolt and Michael Johnson, just ahead of Wade Van Niekerk. So again, a huge accomplishment. Also, Rye Benjamin, again, he ran 10.03 seconds. This makes him the fastest 400 meter hurdler in the top hurdlers in history. Out of all the guys who have run under 47.5 in the 400 meter hurdles, Rye Benjamin blows them out of the water with this 100 meter time. Of course, we've already seen him run under 20 seconds in a 200 meter. So this really solidifies his spot as the fastest 400 meter hurdler in terms of flat speed. So keep a lookout. I think this is a good indicator that Michael Norman is healthy. He's going to be coming back really fast for the 2021 Olympics. Also behind them was Ronnie Baker, also from the US. He ran 10.23 seconds in that 100 meters. The rest of this meet though, it seemed to be kind of like a workout. There were some really, really big names at the meet, but in some really off distances. We saw Justin Gatlin. He ran the 60 meter dash and the 150 meter dash. Shakari Richardson was here. She ran the 60 meters, 100 meters, and the 150 meter dash. In the 100 meters, she only ran 11.56 seconds, which really tells me that this is just a workout for them. We also saw Dalila Muhammad in the 60 meters, 150 meters, and 250 meters. Kenny Harrison, Brianna Rollins McNeil, Phyllis Francis, a lot of athletes. Go in the description below. I'll leave a link for the full results from this meet that went down in Texas. Now, keeping with the sprints, but let's head over to Jamaica where we saw Shelly Ann Fraser Price making her season opener just last week on July 11th in the 100 meters. She managed to run 11 flat in that 100 meter dash, but what's really notable is the wind. It was negative 2.2 meters per second for the 100 meters. This would convert that time to about 10.83 seconds. So what this shows is she is in extremely good form. She has not let up since that gold medal at the Doha World Championships. And in my opinion, she is the clear favorite going into the Tokyo 2021 Olympics next year. Definitely want to keep a lookout for. That wasn't it for Fraser Price though. Just a couple days ago this weekend, she managed to run the 200 meters again in Jamaica, got out to a best of 22.74 seconds. Great performance for her into a head with negative 0.9 meters per second. So really complimenting that 100 meter best she ran. We also saw Elaine Thompson. Last week, she was in the 200 meters. She unfortunately lost to Sharika Jackson, who ran 22.89 seconds. Thompson ran 22.98 seconds. This weekend, Elaine Thompson was in the 100 meters. She ran 11.19 seconds. So great performances for her there as well. In the long jump, Tajay Gale, the Doha World Championship gold medalist in the long jump, he got out to a best last weekend in 8.52 meters in that long jump. Unfortunately, it was wind aided plus 4.5 meters per second. Huge jump though. This shows that he's in some great form and then he also competed this weekend. He got out to a legal jump of 8.13 meters. So great back-to-back -back long jump performances. Also have to note Julian Forte in the 100 meters this weekend. He ran 10.03 seconds. Great performance just on the cusp of breaking that 10 second barrier. Finally from Jamaica, Johan Blake in the 200 this weekend, 20.62 seconds. He's still kind of on the comeback trail. He's getting a little bit farther in his career, but we would love to see him run really, really fast. So great performances for the Jamaicans out in Kingston. Now let's head back to the United States and this time in the shot put, Ryan Krauser highlighted the event in this one-off meet in Georgia. He got out to a shot put best of 22.91 meters. This performance is extremely significant, makes him equal number three all time in the shot put, one centimeter ahead of his personal best that got him the silver medal at the Doha World Championships last year. Remember that shot put competition was one of the greatest field event competitions in history, just lost out on the gold medal from Joe Kovas, who threw that 22.91 meters. So this equals Joe Kovas, puts them number three all time. They're definitely on the cusp of getting to that 23 barrier, and we might see them push each other
other to the world record soon enough. So keep a lookout for that shot put. Also important to know, Katie Najo from the United States, she was at this same meet in Georgia. In the women's pole vault, she got out to a best of 4.83 meters, a world leading performance for her. And she's definitely gonna have a couple more competitions throughout the summer. Now from Georgia, we're gonna head all the way up to Oregon where we saw the big friendly two. We saw the first one a couple weeks ago. This time it was a much bigger meet. Still really, really small, really, really intimate, but a couple more athletes from the Northwest region of the United States. Here we saw Nigel Amos from the Oregon Track Club in the 600 meters. He got out to a best of one minute, 15.86 seconds. Mia Aiken, she was one of the fastest runners in the indoor 800 meters. She ran her first pro race in the 600, one minute, 27.20 seconds. Constance Klosterhoffen, she was in the 1,000 meter race here, one of her first times in the event. She managed to run two minutes, 37.05 seconds. Great performances from them. Another highlight here is Shannon Roberry. We haven't seen her in a while and she's getting into the second half of her career, but in the 3,000 meter, she got a win here in eight minutes, 40.26 seconds. Really great performance from her. Of course, the mid distance races are really, really tough competitively, not only in the United States, but all over the world. So this is gonna be a tough task for Shannon Roberry going into the Olympics. Finally, we saw the relay event, the two by two by 400 meter relay. The first time that we saw this, at least to my memory, was the Yokohama World Relay event last year where Donovan Brazier ran with Sierra Brown. Here we saw Donovan Brazier, but this time with Raven Rogers. They ran a pretty moderate time, three minutes, 42.80 seconds. What was significant though was Raven Rogers in her first 400 ran one minute and then the second 400 ran 101. Donovan Brazier, 49 seconds for his first 400, 51 seconds for his second 400. So showing that both of them are in great form. I think they're going to have one or two more meets later on in the season in a couple weeks. So definitely keep a lookout for these athletes up in the Northwest. Now let's finish off with a couple other results that happened all across the world. Yaroslava Mahuchik from Ukraine. She was jumping in her home country, got out to a world best of two meters in the high jump. Great performance from her. Remember she got the silver medal in the high jump last year in Doha. We also saw Andrew Prazi. He was competing in Italy in the 110 hurdles. He got out to a best of 13.3 zero seconds in the 110 hurdles. Great war leading performance, improves his world lead in the 110 hurdles for this year. Over in the Netherlands, we saw Femke Ball in the 400 meter hurdle. She got out to a world lead, a personal best national record of 53.79 seconds in those 400 meter hurdles. Now, of course, you may think it's not that fast compared to Cindy McLaughlin and Dalila Muhammad, but this performance is extremely significant. It would have ranked number six in the world in 2019. So this definitely puts her in medal contention. That would actually time would have put her just off the podium if she was in that Doha final. So keep a lookout for her in the 400 meter hurdles. In the 10,000 meters, Rosemary Wanjiru from Kenya, she was out in Japan and managed to run a best of 30 minutes, 38.18 seconds. This is a really strong performance, just a couple seconds off her personal best that she set last year. And she got fourth place at Worlds. This time is really significant, would have put her really, really high, potentially would have got her on the podium. So keep a lookout for her. She's been running really well in addition to this 10,000 meters. Finally, from Belarus, we have Nastasia Mironchik Ivanova. She got out to a huge best in the women's long jump of 6.93 meters, just on the cusp of getting to that seven meter barrier. Now she was fifth place at the world championships last year in Doha. So this shows that she's really improving. She's hopefully gonna be in contention for a medal at those Tokyo Olympics next year. All right, so those are just some of the highlights from the competitions over the past couple weeks. We're definitely gonna have a couple more updates. A lot of competitions have been popping up. These low key meets, as well as some of the bigger diamond leagues that will be coming up in August. So make sure you guys keep tuning in. Make sure you guys leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite performance from these past couple weeks are. And make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again next time. Thanks.